Are we? Am I back? No. Okay, it's it's it seems like I'm back. Oh, hold on, my oh she's she was calling me. Uh, okay, we're good. Sorry about that. I don't I don't, I don't know what happened. Uh, I promise I'm not trying to duck battles. Got an ad. God, fucking ads are the worst. I really wish there was a way I could just turn off ads entirely because if look, I get it. They want me to make money, right? Whatever. But at the number of viewers that I have, ads don't make me any money. All they do is drive viewers away because when someone comes onto a stream and they see an ad, they're like, fuck it. I don't want to watch this. I'll go watch someone who I have a subscription to or someone I know and I'm willing to take the ad for a streamer that they know. They're not going to take a chance on me if they get an ad immediately. I hate it. But, you know, can't really do much about it. Oh, yeah, they don't want me to make money. Yes, you're 100% right, Hook'em. Uh, they they, they want to make money by having me run ads, and that's exactly what they're doing. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to... I don't know why this isn't connecting for, for, the, uh, for the link battle. Not really sure what the deal is. So what I'll do, yeah, I'm going to cancel this and we'll get a new code. Because I think, I don't know if when my, I don't know if my internet shit it out for a second. I don't, I don't know what happened, uh, but you hit me with a new code and, uh, and we'll just try again. That was weird. I apologize. Okay. I guess take number two. Okay. I would imagine that this is you. Poke is deciding the battle rules. That's no problem. Uh, we're just going to use the team that I just used. Because that's the only team I have set up. And I do like the diversity of my team. I just, I haven't used them in such a long time because I've been doing the Nuzlocke on another account that I just, I forgot all about this team and what their moves are and shit. So it'll take me a few, you know, maybe two, three rounds to kind of remember what everyone's deal is. Uh, hmm. Uh, and I don't really care if you're watching the stream while we battle. Again, I this isn't competitive. I'm not trying. I'm not going for ranked points. I don't really care. And I don't, truthfully, I don't think it'll really change the outcome of the stream. So. Good luck to bring Urshifu. Yeah, I saw. What am I going to do about it, you know? I'm expecting a lead-off with Urshifu. So, I, oh, they're leading off with Spiritomb. The shiny Spiritomb trying to fucking flex on me before they kick my ass. Ah, uh, okay. Urshifu is a backup if everything dies. Uh, well, I don't think you'll be going with your backup then. Let's see. I 
I didn't expect Spiritomb to lead off, so we gotta make a we gotta make it a little adjustment, just a little bit. And we'll see how this goes. Burning jealousy. Yeah, feel like that was gonna hurt. I feel like I'm gonna get hit with it again. Oh I got mm, a little faster. Did decent damage. Okay. Let's hope for a high roll on this. Unless they swap out and go to someone who is resistant to fairy. Which I wouldn't be surprised. No? Okay. Let's get a high roll or a, cl uh, a crit. I almost did get a crit. No. That didn't die? Really? Jesus. Okay. Well, what do we got? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I, j I'm, I mostly just play for fun. We'll uh, go with something with a little bit of speed. Just to try to get this quick kill. Let's see how it goes. They, you're asking if they have optimized stats like IVs, EVs, and stuff. Um, mine do not. Yeah, I just went through my playthrough Pokemon. Uh, I have... I don't think I've ever really spent any time grinding EVs and, and trying to deal with IVs and stuff. Another shiny... Okay. Well, now you're just trying to embarrass me, is what's happening. Trying to flex on me with them fucking sh strong... Not only you are you trying to beat me, uh, but you're trying to do it in fucking style. Most of your team is shiny. Excellent. Flip turn. Okay, well, let's see what comes out. There was a reason I switched to Stoutland. Octo. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Flip turn is U-turn, but water. Interesting. Oh my god. I, I, honest to God, do not, do not know what that Pokemon is. Can, can someone tell me what that fucking thing was? <laughs> no, I can't even, I, oh, uh, okay, that's a ghost. Rock Poison Ultra Beast. Oh, I thought it was a ghost. Whoops. Hook him. The flex is real. Man, Jinx must be kind of fast. Or you really just optimized EVs and IVs on this one. Uh, that's from your Sun and Moon team. Uh, yeah, the, the pivot's going to obviously... Yeah, I should have saw that coming. Should have seen that coming. Although it did a little more damage than I was expecting. I have a feeling I know what's coming. And so I'm going to try to prepare for it. Hammy Quest... Four Pokemon died. Your two were not one of them. Head smash. I don't even know what that fucking move is. Egg 
Everyone except Gibby and Cole died. That's correct. Oh, actually, wait. Hook'em is fucking... I gotta... I gotta time out Hook'em. God damn it. All right. Um, man, Barascuda is fucking good. It does 50% of damage dealt back on the user. It does not seem like it is. Doesn't seem like he's taking much damage, truthfully. Even though it's it's hitting me f pretty hard. Basking when you mean. Yeah, not Barra Scooter. Barra Scooter is something fucking totally different. It has Rockhead. Interesting. Well, it is safe to say that I am getting my ass beat by this Basculin. But luckily, I was able to take it out before I was able to knock out Budweiser. What the fuck is this? What is what is this? Oh, of course it has the fucking four-time effective grass move. Uh, anybody want to tell me what this Pokemon is? Because I I'm assuming it's another Ultra Beast. That's just my guess. It's the DLC Mon? It's my dad. Wow, real fucking mature, Lauren. Oh, yeah, okay. Wow, that did f fucking nothing. Just drinking a Pilsner. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I have nothing else to do. I'm surprised. Listen, man. I thought it would be enough. Alright? I thought it would be enough. But it wasn't. So, what do you want from me? I told you I don't know what I'm doing. I got fucking... One Pokemon left. Luckily, this is a decent matchup for me. Oh, it's a not... I thought it said super effective. If I'm being totally honest. Because I'm playing... I don't know. Oh, right. We're fucking Dynamaxing. Why do I keep forgetting that? Why do I keep forgetting about, like, the core element of the series of Dynamaxing? Yeah, that's gonna kill me. Yep. Well, I don't think it's easy to... I don't think anybody... How do I want to word this? No one is surprised at this outcome, but good game, Poke Lover, uh, Pokemon Lover. Thank you very much for, for taking the time to battle. I appreciate it. Yes, I want to take your lead card. Uh, who 
is next. Do we have anyone else who wants to do a battle? I'm open to pretty much any type of battle. I do not care. Um, you're up for another. Uh, oh, shit. I just got a bunch of fucking emails. Uh, I'll, I want to give it just another second, see if anyone else is up for a battle before I do a duplicate. Uh, if we get another person, we can do a 2v2. That would be interesting. I've never done that before. Um, yeah, that would be kind of interesting. I don't know of anyone. Like, I, I don't have any friends who play Pokemon. Uh, it's hard to find many 30-year-olds in. Who like to play Pokemon. Uh, so you know. If you guys have a friend. And you want to drag them in here. That would be cool. Uh, let me. Spence is going to ask a friend. Sounds good. I think. Hmm. Ninetales is honestly... Uh, a while ago, uh, Spence asked me who my favorite Pokemon is. And I think the answer is Ninetales. I, I don't think I ever actually gave him an answer. But the answer is Ninetales. Look how beautiful this Pokemon is. I mean, come on. It's so beautiful. And... I don't... I, I, is that from Lovecraft? Ninetales? Oh, yeah, uh, so, no, it's not, obviously. This w Pokemon came out in 1999, or, or 1998. The, uh, the cards started to come out in about 1998, 1999. However, in 1995, there was a, a brand of bubblegum called Top Sun in Japan, and in each pack of Top Sun gum came a Pokemon card. And the, the main purpose of that was just to show off the Pokemon designs to see if people liked them. Obviously, at the time, it was just the 151. But uh, they were just to see, like, do people like this? Can this be a thing? And obviously, people did like them a lot. And so, here we are. Um, the, the mystery or the mythology behind... Nine tails is that foxes are sneaky, clever creatures, and foxes can actually shape change. They can um, transform their their uh, their bodies, and foxes could live for a thousand years. And each one hundred years they lived, they gained an extra tail. So from years zero to ninety nine, they had one tail, and then from a hundred to 199 they had two tails and so on until they reached nine tails at their thousand year mark um th there's other mythology or or mythos and lore surrounding nine-tailed foxes and all this kind of stuff but as they age they their magic because foxes in in japanese mythology and folklore are magical creatures as they age as they gain more tails their magic increases in power as well. So uh, there's a lot of Japanese stories where foxes would um, ha like they would transform into humans and just to like fuck with humans because why not get free food, get money, whatever. And but you can always tell because that they would not be able to get rid of their tail. So it'd be a human with a tail. Uh, and that's some of the mystery or mythology behind. Nine-tailed foxes. Uh, there was a show, there was a book, and then they turned it into a Netflix original called Lovecraft Country. And I don't want to spoil it, but Nine-tailed Fox does make an appearance in that show. And it makes an appearance in a bunch of animes and stuff as well. But my last name, Volpe, means fox in Italian. So, you know, obviously Volpix being a fox Pokemon... Well, the name Vulpix is clearly 
derived from Volpe. And so Ninetales and Vulpix are kind of like, if I was going to have a Pokemon, it would it should be Ninetales considering my name. And so, yeah. I abs- and plus, I get they're just gorgeous fucking Pokemon, so, you know. So there's my, my little rant on nine tails and all that kind of stuff. Uh, in, the, in the TCG, I just built a nine tails deck, and I'm having a tremendous amount of fun with it. It is so... Uh, I love it. I haven't made full use of of nine tails v you asked three people and nobody answered yet uh you know what let's i will update the stream title so that maybe uh someone will recognize what we're trying to do give me one second Need, uh, okay. I just updated the stream title to say need partners for double battles. So maybe we can get someone in there like that. So we'll see what happens. We'll chill. Um, we could just hang out for a minute. Normally, my stream is over by this time, but I kind of want to do a couple more battles. So we'll uh, we'll give it a few more minutes. If you don't get anyone uh, and you guys want to have another free win, basically, <laughs> by battling me, then by all means. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty sure Hookem's timeout is over by now. It was only a 10 minute timeout. Uh, I have so many fucking Twitter notifications. I don't even know what's happening. Oh boy. So we're approaching the weekend. Uh, today is Thursday, at least in New York. It's currently Thursday. Maybe where you are, it's a different day. I don't fucking know. We're heading towards the weekend. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, Friday nights is pizza and Mandalorian. That's my Friday night. And so every Friday, at least while the Mandalorian is running... Lauren and I, we don't order a pizza. We make our own. We buy the dough, but then we make everything else ourselves. So I'll make my own pizza sauce. I'll make, you know, we'll do whatever whatever toppings we want and stuff. And then we'll throw it in the oven and we'll make it. We kind of do it together, which I think is really nice. And yeah, then, we, you know, we have a bunch of pizza. We watch The Mandalorian, you know, do whatever. And uh, it is a very fun Friday ritual. So my question to you is, what are your, if any, weekly rituals? It doesn't have to be a weekend thing. Maybe it's just every every Monday night you go to the gym. Maybe every two, you know Tuesday you take some time and, and you read a book that you like, or you make some time to do some art. Or I don't I don't you know I don't know what you guys do. My my biggest hobby while you guys are typing and I know it's a little delayed. My biggest hobby was Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I've been training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for eight years. And with COVID, I haven't been able to go simply because, you know, it's not safe. And I am very upset about that. So I had to find some other hobbies in the meantime. So I've been playing Pokemon TCG. I kind of I got into it during COVID. Um, and I fucking love it i have so much fun playing and i think i have some some solid decks um i have two that i use primarily uh one is a decidui and butterfree v deck which no one ever sees coming and has done surprisingly well 
And the other, as I mentioned, is the Nine Tails V deck. Uh, and then just been reading. Just been reading. Uh, I started reading The Witcher. The Witcher series. Uh, I'm almost done with the first book and I'm I'm loving it. Uh, it's not only interesting, but it's it's funny at times, which I think is, is great. Um, those are my two big hobbies at the moment. Reading and and Pokemon cards. You're slowly back getting back into into Pokemon cards. Are you a player or are you a collector? And Spence coming in clutch, trying to get someone. Let's see if they if they get them in, in stream. They don't necessarily have to come into the stream. Uh, they they can they can just be out in in you know playing on their own. You know they don't have to join join the chat. Uh, although it would make it more interesting and fun. Uh, you're a collector. What? So you're getting back into them. Do you have a collection currently that you are trying to expand, or are you? you did you collect them for a while and then get rid of them or whatever? You used to have a gold Zekrom card. I'd imagine it was either lost or sold. If you used to have it, um, you sold it. I am also getting into collecting Pokemon cards, but it's more, if I'm being 100% honest, it's more on the flipping side of it. Uh, you kind of wish you didn't. Yeah, I understand. I have I have some, some cards that I just bought. If you can use Legends. Uh, I, I would prefer if they didn't. I think there is enough diversity in, in Pokemon where you don't but uh, yeah I agree I think no is is more not only more fair but I think it's more interesting because then obviously legendaries have a huge advantage so I think it's more interesting to use non-legendaries but they're free to do what they want but my preference is no um but I the, the newest rare Pokemon you've gotten was Dragapult V. Nice. V cards are great. Um, I have several V cards. Um, I mostly I I mostly buy singles, and then I I buy like I have a few Vivid Voltage Build and Battle boxes, and uh, Vivid Voltage ETBs, the Elite Trainer boxes, and honestly, I have no intention of opening them. They are really just to sell. And then I have a, a lot of vintage cards that I just sent to CGC to get graded. So I have, I have like a first edition Shadowless base set Venusaur. Uh, I, oh, I stopped collecting years ago. I literally just got started a couple months ago. I haven't I haven't collected anything in, in... God. I think I stopped playing Pokemon when like gym challenges were out that was like the last time i played pokemon was it be before wizards of the coast sold like i was still playing that's when i stopped playing so you know 20 years ago are ultra beasts allowed uh i mean you you use them but if they're uh, if you can use whatever you want. My preference is no legendaries. If Ultra Beasts are considered legendaries or equivalent to legendaries, my preference is no. Uh, you know, there's 800 Pokemon. Um, you got plenty to choose from, and I'm sure you have at least six that aren't legendaries. But, uh, you know, Spence knows more than I do. So if he says uh, Nilly Lego is fine, then yeah, f it's fine. Uh, Spence, since it's your buddy you're bringing in, you get to choose if you want to be on his team or not. His link code. Oh, I can't ride my bike. I don't want to ride my bike. I want to do a fucking battle. Is Buzzwall fine? Uh, I actually do know Buzzwall, surprisingly. And I would say probably, right? Like, he's a grass type. And grass has a lot of weaknesses.
If you can, you'd like to be on the same team. That's fine with me. Um, so I bought a. I, I was mentioning I bought a bunch of singles, uh, some vintage Pokemon cards that I sent out to CGC to get graded, and among those included a Shadowless first edition Venusaur from from base set, a sh uh, a base set Charizard, uh, not first edition, not Shadowless, just a regular unlimited set. Um, what else is in there? Um, an, an, another unlimited Venusaur. Uh, God, there was some some other stuff. A first edition Jolteon from Jungle. Uh, I have it's not getting graded, obviously, because it's a full pack. But I do have a pack of base set cards unopened. Uh, I have a factory sealed first edition Gym Heroes. Um. There's some other stuff that I have, too, that I sent to get graded. First edition Erica's Venusaur, Bulbasaur, and Ivysaur. Uh, I have a first edition Shadowless uh, Bulbasaur, first edition Shadowless Ivysaur. Those also all got sent in to get graded. Um, and then when they come back, they'll be available to buy. So if, if someone's looking to increase their collection or you know pick up some... Some vintage cards, then, you know, I'll have some. I don't know exactly when they'll be coming in from CGC. They just started working on them a couple of days ago. So, probably a month, if I had to guess. That's that's what they're saying, at least. Uh, who actually knows? It could be a, a little sooner, it could be a little later, depending on turnaround tones. Uh, do we need a new code? Seems like we might, because I punched in that code and nothing. Okay. Five eight two seven six four one eight. Okay, and multi battle. Let's see if we, let's see if we get it to work. I don't think we've gotten a code to work first try yet. It comes up that Spencer is looking or doing something, but maybe when we get everyone. Yeah, that's a good question. Is, is I mean, I'm, I've done that before. I was, <laughs> I was trying to trade with someone. Uh, there's a, a Pokemon Sword and Shield Discord, and I joined it to trade with someone because I needed some, uh, some shield, uh, a sword exclusive, for my, for my Island of Armor Pokedex, and I was trying to trade with them. Uh, and I never turned the internet on. Uh, yeah, I am out of all... I mean, you can see what I'm doing, but yeah, I'm out of menus and not interacting with anything. I haven't moved from where I was. Is I mean, are we... Is, we're supposed to choose multi-battle, so... So as, as long as everyone's choosing the appropriate thing and entering the code correctly, I, I don't know. I've never done a multi-battle, so I don't, I don't know how long it takes. I don't know. There's a lot of room for error. Four people have to enter the code all relatively close in time. Said it's going to take a minute. Well, 
Yeah, everyone needs to search at the same time. That's the challenge with these. Uh, we can do a countdown for sure. I think that's a good idea. I am a little ahead. So, like, you you guys will will see what I'm saying a few seconds delayed. It's probably best to avoid it into chat. Yeah, that's exactly. Cold Vac, how you doing? Hey, yo. I would cheers you, but my, uh, my hot chocolate is ice cold. Ah, oh, you're Spence's friend. Do it in chat. To do it at the same time. Yeah, it's a good idea. Alright. Let's fucking... Cancel this. Let's get a, a, a new link code. I gotta learn how to fucking make link codes. Let me tell you. Okay. New link code. Here we go. Lauren, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll type it in chat. Just... So we can, uh, everyone can see we're all on the same page at the same time. Alright. Uh, we'll search in five. No, uh, I don't even know how to fucking do that. So, yeah, okay. Let you do it. You you give the countdown. That's probably for the best. This way I can focus over here. Let's see if it works this way. Searching. I mean, again, yeah, you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm searching. Uh, if you're just joining, I we're trying to do a multi-battle, trying to do a 2v2 multi-battle. Uh, but it is, the issue here is it's got to find each system and connect them. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it shouldn't take this long, considering how quickly you can connect for max raid battles or and, uh, and other Dynamax adventures. You can connect with four people very fast so I don't know if if this is a different issue and the further it is the longer it'll take yeah but I've you know I've done max raid battles with people in Asia and that's on the other side of the world and it also does not take this long but so if you're just joining I am Nick thanks for joining the co-host of the science comedy podcast just now science my beautiful wife and co-host is currently in the shower so she can't say hi but she's you know somewhere and uh yeah so we're currently back oh she i damn it lady i thought you were showering now you make me look like a liar this is this is what wives do is they just undermine you they just you say something and then they make you sound like a fucking idiot so that's, you know, wife's feel. <laughs> Not only is she my co-host, but she does streams with us. We don't only stream Pokemon. We do food and drink streams as well. On Saturday, we're going to be making hot chocolate bombs. We're going to be making our own hot chocolate, like, um, chocolate-filled balls, basically. And they're going to have different toppings and stuff, and... Should be fun, should be interesting. We'll see how it goes. I've never done it before. 
Um, but yeah, that's what we do. Well, this is not going very well. Uh... Yeah, the parent. I don't. I don't know if it's. We could try one more time. Uh, I'm. I'm willing to give it another. Another go. But I think after this, uh, the multi battle system probably isn't for me. Yeah, Pokemon. Pokemon lovers, set up the the code, please. I agree it shouldn't matter, but fuck it, who knows, right? I doubt it's something anybody did code-wise, but, you know, it can't hurt to, to try, have someone else try. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 5, 5. And, yeah, we'll try again with the countdown. I am ready. Ready to fucking do this. Let's go. If we can, you know, get it. Okay. Searching. 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 Oh my goodness, it worked. Okay. I don't know why it worked on that time, but who cares? Uh, I would imagine it's three Pokemon. I think every, most people who are watching probably know the Pokemon I'm, I'm going to be using. You've seen them. You've seen them already, so nothing is a surprise. Um, I haven't changed my team. It wasn't letting you choose your own team. That's fucking weird. Okay, you got it. Good. All right. And we're just waiting for Pokemon to choose their team. And we will be ready to go. <laughs> if we get disconnected now, I will fucking, I mean, I'll probably just put on Pokemon TCGO online just, you know, because probably do a couple of quick matches on there and teams are being decided. Oh, so it doesn't, it doesn't let us choose. Okay. Interesting. Oh well. Uh, let's see. I think I... I think I 
know what I'm doing. I think I got it. It's interesting. I, I kind of like this, the, the double battle idea, because you don't know who your partner's choosing, and so you can't... Uh, you can't plan accordingly like that. You can't have uh, each person kind of cover the other type matchups, which is... Wow, both of you motherfuckers using shinies. How, I mean, if you don't know what the other person's going to use, though. Like, I don't know what three... I mean, I, I guess you could technically plan, right, if, um, if you're in chat, but... It kind of takes away some of the fun. Lord Helix. That is a great name. That's such a fun name. <laughs> Oh, he's just a tad bit special. <laughs> Age slash. Ah. Dig. Okay. Hmm. Really raising that, that speed and attack. Let's see. Man, that fucking... Oh, man, that was close. I mean, the the recoil will kill me, but... I'll, I'll take the trade, I think. Uh... Oh, I have access to your Pokemon too? That's interesting. I, I don't have access, but I can see them. I think that's that's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen Buzzwall in in like for real for real. Um, I think I, I think I should target the buzz wall though. So that's like what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it's just useless. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Age of Slash. I know they can be pretty good competitively, but send out mustard. Oh, you have a shiny Stoutland, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I guess this is the best option for me. Just gonna both protect. I mean, 
I might as well, right? Oh, <laughs> okay. I didn't. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Interesting. Muy interesante. Huh. A Zora arc. Wow. And this is what I was talking about before with foxes in Japanese mythology being able um, to to transform into things or shape shift. That's a really interesting ability. I wasn't sure if Zoroark. Uh, yeah, that's that's gonna fucking hurt. I thought Last Resort uh, did recoil damage, but I could. I guess I was wrong. I thought Last Resort was a normal type. So why does it hit a ghost? Sure, yeah, I, I was confused about that too. Like, shouldn't that not... Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I don't see this going well, but... I'm sure the Zoroark is going to go first and hit me. I right, use Dig. Mm. And I had a feeling it was going to Dig again. But it wouldn't matter. Wouldn't matter. Well, this is probably not great. Yeah, you, I mean, you might have lost the attack stages earlier, but that, that buzz wall obviously was more than my my little salazzle could handle. Yep. Uh, of course, it's a critical. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah. Yeah, I I I wasn't particularly keen on it, um, but you know, it is it is what it is. You know, it's not a competitive match. I don't really care too much, so you know. Ah, oh, shiny nine tails, so gorgeous. I think now might be a good time to Dynamax. Hmm, let's see. Ah, oh, man, that bulk up is gonna fuck you up. I need a shiny, uh, Vulpix. 
I have... I don't have many shinies. Um, I have a shiny Mr. Rhyme and a shiny Phoebus. And... Oh, well, you listen, you, you tried, right? That's, that's, that's as good as it gets. I gotta figure out how to connect my Pokemon Home to like Pokemon Go and and this, so that I can, because I have a few shinies in Pokemon Go that I think someone would be willing to trade for a shiny Vulpix or a shiny Ninetales. So, well, uh, I gotta get that going. Oh my god, that thing. That buzzwall is fucking ridiculous. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, yeah, in the future, I'm gonna say no to things like buzzwall and other ultra beasts and stuff because they clearly just outclass other, other Pokemon. Hmm. Curious to see how this goes. Phalanx, uh, I'm not familiar with it in the in the game, but in the TCG, oh my, <laughs> okay, never, never mind. In the uh, in the TCG, Phalanx can be pretty annoying and, and difficult to deal with if you get a uh, if you have a good deck. Uh, we have a few. It looks like a few people joined the. Uh, the stream it was I definitely want to do another battle but before we do duplicates I want to see if there's anyone else in stream right now who wants to do a battle um we'll give it just a second I don't want to close this out because it took so long to to get it uh but if you're just joining my name is Nick and we're doing we're battling viewers just for the hell of it. Uh, we'll play with the same rules, I think. We'll, we'll just do it, and we'll try to get a, a line going, see if anybody is uh, interested in, in battling. But, yeah, it, there, there are really only... There's only one rule, and that's no legendaries, no Ultra Beasts. Those are the, the only rules that I'm asking uh you can use pseudo legendaries though i don't really my preference is no just standard pokemon uh is preferred and yeah that's that's really it so no legendaries or ultra beasts a preference towards no pseudos and other than that you are free to use items and whatever pokemon you you want i'm accepting all types of battles singles or doubles, and then we can also, as you see, do these multi-team two-on-two battles. So, we'll do a few more battles. If anyone wants to get in on this, just, you know, let me know in chat. But I, I, I'm I, having a lot of fun doing this, despite the fact that I, like I said, I'm not particularly good. Um, I never really got into Pokemon and, and the video game competitively, it was not something that I uh, that I ever really tried. I never EV trained my Pokemon. I never really cared about natures. Um, obviously, if I got a nature that was like super detrimental to the Pokemon's growth or or their their strengths, then I would probably try to find another one. But I mostly do. Like Nuzlocke type playthroughs where I, I I don't get the option to to catch a new Pokemon. I just kind of have to deal with whatever I get. Uh, so I I really that's kind of how I play. I just catch whatever I catch and that's that's it. I should EV train, but I I don't and I I obviously don't 
have the opportunity to look for Pokemon with the best IVs. So that's kind of what I what I do. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, I, I, I work with what I got. I try to make my teams a little balanced and have a variety of moves. That I care a lot about. I try to make sure that I have decent coverage for, for whatever I'm battling. But I'm better at the TCG than I am the, the video game. So can you use mythicals? Absolutely not. No. It's, it's, they fall in that legendary category. I, I personally don't like to use them because they're, they're just so much better better than the um I, they're so much better than just standard pokemon that they just they just can't i, I don't think it'd be fair to use because one or two mythicals can take out you know a team and it's just i think it eliminates some of the the challenge personally uh because if we were going to do... Yeah, I, I, I agree with Spence. Yeah, f flat 100, flat 120 stats. Uh, and uh, listen, there are some Pokemon that just have one really good stat, but some don't. <laughs> some, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of using legendaries like i won't even use legendaries or mythicals or anything like that in my in my playthroughs i just i i think they they do eliminate some of the challenge uh okay i think i Uh, is this too similar? Yeah, I think it is. I think he's too similar. So we'll do it like this. Variety is great, but having a set to start with is what you mean. Um, when you when you say set, for example, your first three. Okay. Yeah, I, that's the thing. I don't. I'm not versed. I, I'd have to watch some YouTube videos on building like competitive teams and like all that kind of stuff. I, I I just don't know it. I use the Pokemon like that are closest to the Pokemon that I have seen in real life. Shiny Butterfree is weird looking. Man, Shiny Butterfree has so much going on. Are we are we just not Dynamaxing these battles? I kind of feel like not Dynamaxing is a little more fun. Yeah. I, I definitely do have to do some research. But I, I as I mentioned, I'm more into the TCG than I am the video game, so most of my research and time goes into to that. Uh, I am perfectly fine with not Dynamaxing, personally. Pretend we're in Spike with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of how I feel about it. I, I, th I think it's more interesting to not Dynamax. Shiny Magmar. Man, that pink is... Like, that is pink. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. So, I guess now I have two rules. We're not Dynamaxing in any battles, uh, whether they're singles, doubles, whatever. Um, 
Can you not team on one person? Like, can both Pokemon not attack the same Pokemon? Uh, I, I don't... I think that's a little too hard to predict. Because that means whoever you're battling with, you both have to agree not to attack the same Pokemon at the same time. And I, I don't think that's feasible. Like, I think it would be wrong for both, of, like, for me to say, oh, let's only attack Spencer's Pokemon because, you know, let's knock him out and, you know, get both of his Pokemon or all three of his Pokemon out. So there's only, you know, one Pokemon remaining like, or one person remaining. Yes, I agree with that. You, you can't deliberately target only one player. But if you keep sending out Pokemon that's weak to mine... I'm going to keep attacking it. So, you, you had a Butterfree, I'm going to attack it with Rock Slide. You have your Magma, I'm going to hit it with, with Crab Hammer. Like, that's, if you send out something else that's weak to, to Kingor, I'm going to attack it. That's just the way it is. I'm not doing it intentionally, I'm just doing it because that's the smart move. But, I agree, We should. you should not dis collectively decide to try and knock out a particular um you know person just so it's an easy two on one yes i agree with that i'm hoping oh iron head I don't know what Belly Drum does. Cuts half his attack. Oh, okay. Oh, and there's the Citrus Berry. Naturally, Ice Q. With its uh, Ice Face stupid ability. Man, Ice Q is so annoying to deal with sometimes. Yeah, that flinch hurts. Wow. Fucking avoided. Ugh, of course, I flinch. What a fucking... Man, that would have been crazy, but I, naturally I flinch. Would have been a great turn, though. That would have been... Man, that Zen Hud part... Real, I guess the... The... the um, that max attack... Really fucking helps. Plus my defense drop. That makes sense. That turned uh, very poorly for us very quickly. Um, okay. <laughs> it went from being a crazy round in our favor to both of our Pokemon getting knocked out. I gotta get a Zora Arc too. I fucking, I mean, I have one, but. I don't have a shiny one. Oh, a defiant ability. Interesting. Jesus fucking Christ. My god, that ice cube. <laughs> oh my god. That was fucking crazy. 
Ice Cube is a monster. <sighs> now I have a choice. I think I'm making the right one. It doesn't matter. I'm dead either way. Yeah, I, I fucking... I didn't think it would make too much of a difference. <laughs> you ain't dealing with it. Let's see how it goes. I had the moves too, right? Obviously, Flamethrower, strong against Ice Q. And, but the move I selected was a Dragon Pulse against Como. -O. Good job getting rid of the Ice Q. I tried, but, you know, it was too slow. That Clang and Scales, I've, yeah, it's going to be fucking crazy hard to deal with that's why I, I tried to go with the, the dragon pulse on the coma o but good games everyone good games uh i think that's gonna do it for us today i'm gonna quit this um you know i've been been streaming for a few hours so He's maxed out in special attack. Yeah, that'll fucking do it. <laughs> that will do it. Uh, I man, I gotta. If I'm gonna keep battling strangers and viewers, I really need to up my EV game. Uh, now, one quick item. Does anyone have a spare Vulpix or Nine Tails, a shiny one, or a shiny Zora? That they're willing to trade. Even if it's a temporary trade. Uh, I don't... You have a shiny one. I don't know if there's anything you'd be interested in that I have. You probably have much more than I do. So this would probably end up being a pity trade. But I'll go through my, my boxes and you can choose what you want um yeah that's a good idea let's just exchange friend codes uh you know what a better place to do this might be our discord because we have a um i don't know why it's not showing up can you please do what i ask you to do I guess I'll just have to fucking copy the link myself. We have a Discord. There's a video game channel on the Discord. And we can talk about all Pokemon stuff there. So you can exchange friend codes, all that kind of stuff. And I have a bunch of other channels that we, that we talk in. Food, pictures, pets, all that kind of stuff. Science, if you're into that. General discussion, memes, random shit, whatever. You name it, we got it. And if we don't have it, you tell me and I'll add it. That's that's how this works. Um, I do not want the Alolan version. I am a, I'm not an ice type person. Um, so the the regular Nine Tails is, is more my speed. Uh, so yeah, if there's something that you see that you like, I, 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 you know, I'm sure you have most of the things that I have. I, like I said, I, I am not a, a avid gamer, but if you play the TCG and you want to battle me there, I would probably put up a more of a challenge, uh, in the card game. I have a shiny Mr. Rhyme somewhere. A shiny Feebas. I'm sure everyone has a shiny Feebas. It's like the easiest shiny to get. You're trash at the car again. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm looking for. 
It's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, I think I, I would have to connect home to this, but I do have some shinies in Pokemon Go that eventually I do need to trade um, into the game, into, into this, because they don't really serve me any purpose in Pokemon Go. You want a shiny Feebas? Why is it easy? I thought it was just the easiest to get, truthfully. I thought from my max raids, they were, they were pretty common as far as shinies go. But if you want a shiny Feebas, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking give it to you. I don't really care. You, if... if uh, Let me add this friend code so we can do a trade. Uh, oh, add friend. I, I mean, you can... You'll trade for Feebas? Oh, God. I mean, I kind of have to go with who's giving me the, the, the Vulpix. Is, is there something else I can give you, Poke, Poke Lover, that you would be interested in? Um, if if not, you know, a trade's a trade, but if you want the Feebas, uh, it it is yours, right? That's that's how trades work. Okay, I just sent you a friend request. Take a look through my... I'll start at box one. You take a look. Like I said, I doubt there's anything you want. Um, but if there is, you let me know. I don't know if you want another uh, type null just to have. Right? There, those are... You get your one in the game. Um, if you want another Eternatus or Hack Source, some shit like that. Again, things you can probably get on your own. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, there is... I don't know if there's like a version exclusive that I have. Got any of the box legends. I don't know what that means. The legends that I have... Uh, I don't know why I put them so far away. I have a Zapdos. And it has amazing stats. Uh, oh, on the box art. Oh, yeah. Uh, I should have a Zamazenta. Because I have shield. Yeah. I have a Zamazenta. With good stats. So if you want that, it's yours. Uh, okay. The the legends they are shiny locked. Interesting. Is there like a a breeding thing that you people try to do to to get shinies with legends? I don't know. I don't. I. I don't know the most appropriate way to to hunt for for shinies. I know if you complete the decks, you get a shiny charm, which increases your chance of getting shiny Pokemon. But that's as far as my knowledge goes. The funny thing is, you have a shiny Zamazenta. So why do you want? I mean, I'm not questioning, but if you have a shiny Zamazenta, why would you want this one? So it can be used online. Okay. I mean, listen, you, you want it, I, I will give it to you. Um, I set up the... I added you as a friend. So I will go and connect back to the internet. And you just tell me a code.
Oh, whoops. That's so annoying. You... I gotta learn how to create a link code. I'd say delete it because you can get your Pokemon account banned from online services for using hacked Pokemon. Really? I did not know that. Listen, you're you're free to do what you want. You know, you you. You know the risk, right? I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you should or shouldn't do. Um, I, that's not my it's not my business. So. Listen, Cold back. They know the risk. They accepted them. That's that's their decision. We're not here to to change their mind or to convince them of anything otherwise. Um, they're 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 allowed to do what they want. They want to keep it in their in their in their box just to have to look at because it looks cool. Then that's that's on them. You think the nine tails is from X and Y? That's fine by me. Um, I just want to add it to my to my team because it is beautiful. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate this Pokemon lover. Um, I hope the Zamazenta helps you in some capacity. And uh, cool, this was this was great. There's a, a gift that I want to get, and I I don't know if Lauren is still watching, but you can get these crystal Pokeballs that have um what is it they have like a pokemon inside and they come with a base that lights up underneath and yeah so it looks kind of cool when it's lit up it's like this clear translucent crystal ball like shaped like a pokeball and nine tails is inside and you can light it up a different color and it's a nice little display piece and if Lauren is watching, you can get it on Etsy for like 45, 50 bucks. And so, yeah, that would be kind of cool. So she wants to buy that for me. That would be fun. But if she's not watching, then, you know, after Christmas, I'll buy it myself. Anyway, I do think that is where we end it for. Whoops. Forgot to set up our webcams appropriately for this oh, well now I look like a fun person oh well I'll just do it from the main we'll just do it from here right we'll just do our ending we'll just do our ending from here Thank you all so, so much for hanging in. I appreciate it so much. Um, if you... We'll put on some music before we, we do this, right? Why not? Thanks so much for hanging in. I appreciate it. If you are... You know, if you're new here, following, always super appreciate it. It's the easiest way to support us. And if you are kind enough to consider subscribing, we have a Patreon that you can view all of the different uh, tiers. And if you subscribe on Twitch, you get access to the tier equivalent on Patreon. So if you are a tier two sub on Twitch, you get all the stuff in the second tier on Patreon. In, in addition to ad free viewing, your emotes, all that kind of stuff. I want to keep it fair and consistent. I don't want somebody who you know, subscribes at a certain level on one website to get more stuff than someone else. I don't think that's right. So, you know, I I try to make it fair. So if you're interested in, in supporting us, you can do that and you can see our... Actually, I think I have it on here. 
Uh, I don't even know where my fucking commands are. I'm tired, everyone. I got up early for meetings. I don't, I'm not even going to do this bullshit. We're just going to go. Uh, thank you so much for hanging in. I appreciate it. The battles were a lot of fun. I, you know, I never get to battle people because I don't have friends who play Pokemon. So the fact that you guys came through, battled with me, kicked my ass up and down. It was a lot of fun, some close battles. And uh, join us on Saturday. Saturday, we're going to be doing a cooking stream. And we're going to be making hot chocolate bombs. It's going to be probably bad. I've never I've never made any type of molded chocolate before. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, that's, that's going to be on Saturday. And I think these hot chocolate bombs, if you can get them to, to mold properly, are could, they could be a really good gift to give to someone if you like to make your own gifts instead of buying things from Amazon. And the other thing you can do is... Make them with a partner, make them with a friend or family or, or whatever, you know. I think these would be a lot of fun to do with someone. So I'm going to try to have Lauren in the kitchen with me working on them as we go. And, uh, you know, you get to make a bunch. Of We're going to make a few different flavors. We're going to do an Oreo one, just a regular uh, hot chocolate flavored with marshmallows. And we're going to do a third flavor. I'm not really sure. Kind of thinking of doing something a little funky, maybe something a little... Uh, chocolate and spice maybe a little pep cayenne pepper and stuff to do like a, a mexican hot chocolate type of thing but we'll see how it goes anyway oh pokemon lover joining the discord thank you so much i appreciate it that's gonna do it for us tonight thank you so much again and uh let's see if there's someone in the pokemon uh thing that we want to raid we'll raid a pokemon a random pokemon uh streamer Let's go. I want to try to find someone who, like, doesn't have a ton of viewers at the moment. Uh, let's see. This guy, Pokemon Cafe. Oh, they're doing some trades. So maybe they would be a good person for you guys to go and check out thanks everyone for hanging out uh let's go check out pokemon cafe and we'll see how it goes you're looking to do some trades that's the way to go pokemon cafe is where you get most of your mods ah then that'll be fun to uh to go meet where you get your your mods maybe uh i i don't think i'll have anything for them to to give I don't think I'll have anything to give them, but, you know, can't hurt to go check them out. Anyway, thanks so much. We'll see you Saturday at noon Eastern. It's a bot, by the way. Oh. I did not know that. Oh, I don't want to, like, go to a bot. That's not fun. We're not going to do that. Oh, well. I, I, I'm, I'm fucking fried. I don't, I don't have the energy or time for this. We're just going to go. <laughs> thanks so much. And, uh... Hopefully Saturday I'm a little a little more mentally composed. So we'll see, but probably not. Rip is fucking right. If you We got these beautiful just now Fox Rip emotes. I think that's pretty appropriate at the moment. And uh God. I'm gonna go read and then go to sleep. That's what I'm gonna go do. And uh yeah, I've been rambling far too long. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night. See you Saturday at noon.